What are we gonna do today, guys? Well, we're gonna look at some unique knives and I've got four of them here. I think this is probably the first one we're gonna look at because you've seen it before, but I really like this knife and it is very unique. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the logo and we'll be right back. So guys, I have four knives that I've picked out here. Like I said, we're gonna do this one first, but these other knives, half of these knives are mine and half of these are on loan. So I wanted to get this while I still had these knives uh, from some people. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and look at this one. Now this is the Gavco Great White, designed by Mike Gavick, done by Artisan Knives. You've seen this a couple times on the channel. We haven't looked at it lately, but I thought it would fall right into that category. I do like doing these little compilation videos. So you're seeing some really unique features to this. Now, I will say, first and foremost, this is a great and comfortable knife. It does actually cut well. It has gotten used a lot, but it is unique for several reasons. It's got some very interesting lines that you're not gonna see on a lot of other knives. Um, you would think that this is very uh, aggressive and possibly uncomfortable, but it really isn't. It's fairly comfortable. I like this knife a lot. Um, for the way it feels in hand, even though I'm not a fan of thin scales or thin handles, they did a good enough job here that this does still feel comfortable. Um, you've got a very unique uh, recurve Tonto compound edge here. It's not really a compound edge, but it's multiple angles on this. So you got a recurve and you got a flap. So you've got a really unique recurve Tonto look to it. Nice harpoon tip that comes down with this big area for your thumb that is actually functional. You got a finger choil that comes up. So even though this is really unique and interesting looking, it's still very functional. This is a really good cutter. After I sharpened it up, uh, and put my edge on it. I mean, it cut okay when I first got it, but after I put my edge on it, it just screams through material. Um, this is one that I was really interested in seeing. I was glad that it finally came out. It doesn't have too many issues with it that I've seen. Um, it is only aperture only. There is no other deployment. It's not a back flipper. It doesn't have thumb studs. It is simply that aperture. Now you can slow roll it with your thumb like a spidey like a spidey hole or you can just go ahead and get your finger in there and just flick it open which is my preferred method i will say the only thing i have in complaints on this knife in all honesty the only complaint i have is access to the lock bar but it's still pretty good really nice finish on it and the looks of it are like if you're one of those guys that carries a knife because you want it to be functional but you also want to garner attention from your fellow you know your fellow knife guys in the knife community they are going to appreciate this knife uh, artisan did a really good job on this the only other thing i could say is as opposed to a lot of mike's other knives like his personal knives that he makes this is a little bit thicker behind the edge but still does cut well so yeah, there you go. The Gavco Artisan Great White in S35BN. Great, great little knife. I really do like this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this knife is my Olamic Wayfarer 247. This was a gift to me from one of the paying members. I really like this knife. It is a it is a really comfortable, comfortable knife. What makes this knife unique is just its overall design. Um, it has got a unique handle that I never thought I would like until the first time I picked one up and I was like, wow, that is really comfortable in hand. It's super ergonomic. You've got such an interesting pocket clip that you would think it'd be a hot spot. It is not. It is one of my favorite pocket clips of all time, the one on this knife. You got a big ceramic ball, easy in and out of pocket. It's lifted up off, but there's no hot spots as angular and thin and everything as this pocket clip looks really comfortable. You've got this big, long, they call it a sheep's cliff blade, but a really long uh, blade on this with a nice rounded area that comes up. It's not aggressive in any way, shape or form. Really comfortable. This thing cuts so well. It's done in M390 steel. And then all of this. Now I did the anodizing on this. So the green and everything you see, I did all of that in the blue, but this rock pattern, this is exactly how the knife came from the factory. So when the guys at Olamic did this, they did a really good job on making this. This knife has got super good action. Like I said, really comfortable in hand. Only issue I have is I wish the pocket clip, or the, not pocket clip, the finger uh, flipper tab was just a little bit more straight up and down than being in like that. But still, it's not super uncomfortable. Good functional jimping. You have a flipper 
if you can get in on it, the action on it's really stiff, but the action on this thing is so good. Listen to that thing. It snaps open with authority. If you like lanyards, you've got a lanyard hole if you want one. I'm not such a big fan of them, but it's in there if you want. Um, you can see all of the internals in here. Uh, it does have proprietary hardware, but all in all, great knife, super functional. If you want a good, solid... Oops. If you want a good, solid workhorse of a knife, this is a great one. You've got a lot of blade that is done in a steel that holds its edge really well. This thing sharpened up nightmare inducing sharp. Uh, and it, like I said, really comfortable to do a lot of work because you've got this nice rounded area. It fits in your hand really well and you can just put a lot of force behind it and get work done and, and really cut through some heavy stuff. If I had anything to say about it, like I said, I'd say the flipper tab would be something I would change, but that would be about it. There's not a lot that I would think needed changed on this. So there you go, guys. There's number two, my Olamic Wayfarer 247. Guys, I hate to interrupt the video because I know we're having fun, but I do have to do the YouTuber thing and remind you that this channel is spelled self-sponsored with all the affiliate links and stuff you see down below. Anything from knives, tools, EDC gear, and uh, Blade HQ, anything, all the Amazon links, they all support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. So I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now let's go back to the knives. This next knife is the Vision R. It's a Snex design by Wee Knife Company. I'm currently at a point where I don't like this knife, but I'll show you some of the unique features. So you've got interesting looking blade. It's a nice upswept angled uh, Warncliffe. It is running on bearings, titanium scales. You've got some unique features, unique pocket clip, uh, unique locking mechanism, which is not horribly unique. If you really want to know the truth, it's very similar to some of the other locks like the Atlas lock, the shark lock, uh, axis bar lock. They're all just kind of variations on it. And I'm sure internally it's a little bit different. You've got some unique look to this knife and the act, the way it feels is definitely unique. So this knife is unique. Uh, I have a lot of problems with this knife, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it because it's getting its own video, but Snex designed this. Um, and, uh, this is one of those knives that is more form over function in my opinion, but there are some cool features. You can just like an access lock, you can, you can push back on this and you can flip it open, uh, it drops in. This is, there you go. That's one of my problems with this knife. There we go. Blowout resolved. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you have some unique features and looks and things like that. But overall, I'm not a fan of much of anything on this knife except for the blade shape. It does have a good looking blade shape. Um, and if it's just something, if you're into something that is just more artful and creative than it is for function, then this might be the knife for you. Um, it only has one deployment method and that is, well, two technically. It's either finger flick or just push down and it drops shut. Um, you can actually flip it open the same way. Uh, you got, uh, it is very light. I do have to say it's very light and in hand, it's not horribly uncomfortable. You can get way up on it. Um, in and out of pocket, this pocket clip, it does allow you in and out of pocket pretty well, but the fact is it sits in a weird position where you wind up with it uh, sitting in a position you might not necessarily want it. So this Snex Vision R is not a knife I'm really big on, but it definitely is unique. And if you like something like this, you might enjoy it. It's got definitely like a like a Japanese kitchen knife feel to it, like some of the Japanese kitchen utility knives uh, the, the, that bridge the gap between a... What am I trying to say here? They, they kind of bridge the gap between a paring knife and a small chef's knife. So... Yeah, I mean, there you go. There's that Snacks Vision R by Wee Knife Company. We'll do. It's going to get its own video because that's why it's here. Uh, so there you go. The next knife we're going to bring up is the Gavco Thresher by Mastrop. Actually, just drop now. Um, they got rid of Mastrop and just went and drop and their logo's a D. So, you know, they just decided to put the D on it. Um, <laughs> but this is another Gavco design knife um, that I like a lot as well. I don't like it as much as I like some of my other knives, but this is a lot of fun. You've got a really unique shaped blade, 
all belly, the all belly with these typical Gavco-esque flourishes, scales, handle scales on it, really well done. They come down, they look reptilian. Great, great pocket clip. The action on this one is great, but the unique things about it do not outweigh its just regular appeal as a knife. It's just a good all around knife. Like the first one we saw, the great white. And so you get, you get the uniqueness of this design with a functional, functional blade. If you like this style blade with the, the big upswept, almost Persian style blade, it's great for you. Thumb studs on this, another unique feature, big titanium thumb studs that match the hardware. <clears throat> so you're getting a really good look. I do like that pearl essence purple where you get a blue and then a green and then a, a, a purple at different angles. Same with the pocket clip. Same with the backspacer. Really well tooled and well milled backspacer that marries in nice and clean. And then, like I said, all these lines and everything on it. It's really good. I like the black and purple look. And like I said, comfort, comfort in hand on this is great. But like I said, if this is still a very functional knife. Cuts really well. It's comfortable in hand. It's not as comfortable as my other Gavco collab that I have that is the Spinner, which is a Ferrum Forge. Well, I'll actually grab it. Another Gavco collab that I have, this is that Ferrum Forge Spinner. Really, really similar in design. There are some differences. This one is almost a Tonto and has some different things. But you can see Gavco definitely has a look that permeates and carries through a lot of his knives. And this is no different. Uh, really comfortable. I like, the, I like the fact that this does not have a flipper tab. So you still get... The same thing that you get with this, which is almost a finger guard, but not getting the flipper tab that sticks out here. So it gives it a really clean look. It feels good in hand. This is just a great, great knife. So there you go. There was four unique knives that are either mine or on loan. And you may, you're going to get another video on this one, and we're going to get a video about that snacks, and I'll tell you why I don't like it. So there you go, guys. I will get this turned around. Let's do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Don't forget to check out the affiliate links down below. If you're looking for any of these knives, you can probably find some of these knives on Blade HQ. There you go, guys. There was four unique knives really fast. There's a couple of them that I don't like as much as others. There's one of them that I have some serious issues with, but it still is unique, so it fits the bill for this video. I just, I, I, I'm not a form over function guy. For me, it's gotta be a tool and it's gotta be useful. So that's about it on this one. Guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why I can't change the content. If you don't tell me what you don't like, if you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon, make sure you get notifications turned on your device. And if you wanna support the channel by sending items in, reach out to me, let me know what you want to send what you've got and I will tell you whether I've already done a video or if I think it will be a good video or not. So we'll have a look at that in the future. The other ways you can do it if you want to do it financially, one of the best ways that doesn't cost you anything is to use my affiliate links for any shopping you're going to do. I have a ton of Amazon affiliate links down there. Anything you purchase, even if it's not the items that it's linking to, like soap, shampoo, toothpaste, whatever you buy, and you use those affiliate links, it supports the channel directly and it doesn't cost you anything to check out. But there's some specific links down there, I have a Doll Strong Knives, I have Coffee Brand Coffee, I have Blade HQ. A lot of the knives you see on the channel, you're going to be able to find at Blade HQ. So other ways you can do it, I have got a membership. If you want to support the channel through a membership, you get some benefits that only you guys would get as a member. You have access to my Gilded server. Everyone does. Uh, premium and baseline tier members have access, to, or, or I'm sorry, are automatically entered into a giveaway and get exclusive content. And the premium tier guys, uh, they have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. Um, and the final way is I do have a merchandise store. This is not the merchandise you're going to see. It's my new logo with the cross swords. But I have a coupon code on Ember Shirt Co. where my merchandise store is that will save you 10% on checkout at any of the other creators' stores as well. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, saves you 10%. Uh, guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.